Hi, this is Big Dolls Porton here, and today we have a pretty um, good flow testing for you guys. Now, this Chinese Cobra GT40 manifold um, has been treated to our stage two porting. This manifold came to us with some previous port work done to it. The lower was mildly ported and the upper I believe was gasket matched with the throttle body um, it was mildly ported the throttle body tunnel so we flowed this manifold um, when it came to us before we did our stage 2 porting and it flowed right around average runner we, we flowed like 6 runners so average runner flow for this one when it first came was uh, I believe it was 2 13 or 214. I have to look at the um, chart. I believe it was 214, which is typical when you know you mildly port these um, the way it was ported before it came to us. So now what we're gonna do, um, you guys recognize these throttle bodies. Um, this is actually the customer's throttle body um, for this manifold. The customer also um, got um, some GT40 P head stage two ported um, with um, Pringle valve job, um, and those came out pretty well. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a flow on the number one runner right here in the manifold's raw form, um, no radius, no throttle body. Get a baseline on that. Um, this is after our stage two. This is our stage two now. Then we're gonna go ahead, put on the out the box 75 millimeter throttle body. These are the exact identical throttle bodies with this radius. We're gonna flow that. Then we're gonna put on the customer's ported 75 millimeter throttle body um, with the radius. And then we're gonna flow that. This is all on the number one runner. As you see, the before was 992. Both of these float the same, they're the exact same. And the after on the customer's ported throttle body 75 millimeter was 1,205 CFM. So we're gonna go ahead and I wanna show you guys how the um, throttle bodies affect your runner flow available to the cylinder. So we're gonna pause it and get the testing started. So we have the flow bench started mind you we're going to flow the number one raw with no radius now with the radius it's going to add mm, you'll see with the ported throttle body what it's going to add but with the radius it's going to smooth off the entry of the airflow which usually gives you know uh, a couple of more cfm to the uh, uh the runner that's being tested so we're going to go ahead and flow the baseline so the number one on this stage two ported cobra is right at around 282, 282, 283, okay? So we're gonna pause it, put on the out the box, um, 75 millimeter throttle body with the radius and flow that. So now we have our stock 75 millimeter throttle body set up. You can see it's open. see it's bottomed out all the way open we have our clamp holding it open and we have the radius on there so we're going to go ahead flow it see what we we have see if we gained or lost any CFM um, this is the number one runner on this stage stage two so about 276 about 276 so with this throttle body um, stock out the box 75 millimeter non ported that flowed around 990 with the radius bolting on this stage 2 you lost CFM um, per runner for this runner uh, overall you lost looking about six cfm so you take six cfm 
um, for each runner, depending on you know if it if it loses six CFM across the board, and that's what you're losing going into the motor. And I've said this before that everything from the manifold forward has to be able to flow more than what the manifold's throttle body tunnel can flow. If you have a throttle body tunnel, this one is right at around 1,000 CFM. If you have a throttle body tunnel that's flowing 1,000 CFM, and then you have a throttle body that's flowing you know, 950, and then an intake pipe that's only flowing 650, and the air filter is flowing 550, 550 then you're going to have 550 CFM or less available to the intake manifold, which is going to affect the available airflow going into the runners. So we're going to go ahead and set it up for um, the ported. So now we have the ported 75 millimeter. And we're going to go ahead and start the flow bench up to see what we have. So we're looking at about 285, 285, about 285 CFM. So about 285, 286 with the port in. Um, so there you have it. People say, well, you know, um, I can go ahead and port the throttle body and pick up more CFM, and you're absolutely right. Then you have some people say, well, you know, it's a 75 millimeter throttle body tunnel, so I'll just get an out the box 75 millimeter throttle body. And you're gonna lose CFM because once again, the throttle body has a blade, um, it has um, um, restrictions on it, it has other things that hurt the flow. A lot of these throttle bodies are not adjusted properly, meaning that you know when you hit wide open throttle, the blade is actually not, you know, um, setting up for maximum airflow. So we adjust them. A lot of these throttle bodies also are not the inner diameter of what they advertise. This 75 millimeter wasn't a 75 millimeter. It was actually more like a 73.5. So, you know, um, you see it. You see the results. Um, once again, check us out on my Facebook page, our YouTube channel, at Big Dogs Port. See you guys at the track.